I am the famous American. I like to think deep. I, I think I like to ask questions that maybe people don't talk about. So here's just a, a quick video with a quick question. So we would all agree that life is hard. Life is difficult. Life is quote unfair. You know, even for me, I've got a great life. I won the lottery of life as far as being born when and where I am and the life that I still live. Because of that, I'm aware that life is not so easy and good and wonderful for so many people who are alive right now on the planet and who have ever lived in the history of the world. I'm very aware of that, a form of survivor's guilt ultimately. So we all know that life is hard. We all know that life is unfair. But what's interesting about this, despite how hard life is and even the uncertainty of what comes after this life. I mean, we, we can have our faith in our religion, but ultimately we're, we're rolling the dice. It's, it's a gamble. We're putting our faith in a certain belief system or religion, and we still don't know in the end. We can't prove. That's why it's faith, right? So here's what I'm saying. If life is so hard and we think, why, why would God create an existence for us in which we're born into such a fallen world? That seems unfair. We didn't ask to be here and then we're, we still face the uncertainty of what's after this life. What if it gets even worse? What if there's, what if we're facing hell? Or what if heaven isn't what we thought it would be, et cetera? Now, all these, all these question marks. Here's what's interesting, and, and can make hypocrites of us pretty quickly, I guess, especially me making this video. Those of us who have kids. So if we are so aware of the perceived injustice of how existence is for us humans and then yet we still procreate we bring other human life into existence because it, it there's the saying i wish i was dead right well do you really because what if you end up in a worse place what if you end up in you follow the wrong religion and now you're in their hell because you believe the wrong god or whatever it is okay so the best thing in that theory would be to wish to have never been born, to have never exist, then you're not out accountable to this life or anything beyond it, right? Well, if that's the case though, then again, if we have children, then we have exposed them to this own existence that we cannot figure out ourselves. Again, this is a deep topic, but I, I think about this. If I was so concerned about how dark the world is and how it seems unfair that we end up here to be subjected to such a fallen world. Then why would I procreate? Why would I allow more children to be born in this world? Now, specifically, the world, in my opinion, used to be even more difficult. I mean, it's rough now, but it used to be more difficult. Borders were constantly changing, nation to nation. War was constantly happening. Now, granted, you could say it's constantly happening now, but not in the same way that nations borders are changing they're taking over kingdoms are changing it's not it's bad now but i'd say it was even worse before technology got to where it was it was a scarier place even then and yet people still continued to have children to have more babies and to continue life so there's this paradox in which we want to continue the survival of mankind despite how hard it is and despite that it used to be a lot harder I mean, again, going back to those with us who have kids, it's very likely that the same sicknesses that our kids have had when they were young may have killed them 100 years ago. When you go through, walk through a graveyard, you can look at, here's, look at all the sad tombstones showing the death of the small children, which medicine allows them now, modern day, it's no problem to survive the things that kill people off so easily. And yet back then life was harder. Granted they had more kids, but life being hard doesn't prevent people from having more kids. And I think that's an expression of how ultimately, despite how, li how hard life is, yes, people commit suicide, but most of us don't. <laughs> most of us don't commit suicide. And most of us are not compelled not to have children just because the world is a dark, mysterious, weird, strange, creepy place that yes, has a lot of good things, but ultimately it's pretty weird. It's pretty dark and we're not going to have confirmation of anything until we die. And then 
then our religion, our faith, our beliefs can be confirmed. But ultimately, if we were so freaked out, ultimately, about how strange and dark life is and how unfair it is and all the horrible things that happens that God allows to happen in our life, if we were so troubled by it, why would we continue to breed? Your answers belong right here in the comments. I am the famous American.